What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, Man's Toxic Gamer 330. Woo yeah. Back at it with another video. And today, I am going to be reviewing Royal Rumble 2023, the pay per view. My, I haven't done a pay per view review for WWE in a while. Like, the last one I think I did was. Uh. You'd have to remind me, but this is my uh, most re uh, my first one in 2023. So before we get into the actual video today, guys, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, share the video, ring the bell for all notifications. Also, feel free to comment your thoughts of Royal Rumble 2023 down below. And my overall thoughts was I think this was probably one of the best the two best Royal Rumble matches I ever watched, maybe. I don't know. Uh, maybe. That's the, like, main part of the show um, of here. So, I will just tell you the matches and tell you what happens. I will recap the show for you guys. If you, if you don't want to hear the match uh, results or whatever, probably go watch the actual pay-per-view itself or... Yeah. So, um... The first match that was on the card was actually the 30-man Royal Rumble, which, now looking, so when I heard it was starting the show, I I was a little hesitant, but after watching the pay-per-view itself, it kind of made sense, so um, I'll get into that a little bit later. Um, so, Overall, the match was amazing. I thought it was a very, very good match. It's It got a lot of... It was 100,000 times better than Royal Rumble 2022. It had um, all, like... All the members in the Royal Rumble had pretty decent pops, I think. Even, like, the newer people to SmackDown that aren't, like, really doing good right now, they had some pretty decent pops. Like, um, for example, Santos Escobar had a pretty decent pop. It wasn't loud or anything. Uh, Johnny Gargano got a decent pop. Uh, who else? Um, I'm trying to see. Um, I'm using my results book of the pay-per-view. Uh, Logan Paul had pretty good pop, too, and... Yeah, that was, yeah, and it had lots of good returns, too. It had, um, Johnny Gargano, kind of. Some of you might go like, eh, that's not really that big of a return. That was cool. Um, uh, I, I, he had a very decent performance, so good for him. Uh, who else popped up in there that had, um, that returned? Uh, Booker T, um, but he really didn't do much, well... I, it makes sense because, you know, he's kind of older now, so they cannot make him do a whole lot of stuff. The, um, uh, I'm just, I'm not going to recap the matches. I'll just tell you the good and stuff. Um, another, um, uh, return was Logan Paul, which he got to the final three, which shocked me. And he eliminated Seth Rollins, too which is crazy, so that was cool, um, and, yeah, it was just an overall solid Royal Rumble match, I think, and Cody Rhodes got the W, and it makes sense that they put this first because of what happened later that, later tonight, that match, so, yeah, and, uh, I'm glad they showcased Gunther and put him at number one and made him last all the way to the end. I feel that the only flaw, really, I have with the ending is I felt... Gunther and Cody Rhodes were fighting each other a little bit too long. I feel like it should have been a little bit shorter. But overall, still a great match. Now let's move on to another good match. And that is the 30 Women's Royal Rumble. The 30 Women's Royal Rumble was also really, really good. When they put out Rhea Ripley at, and Liv Morgan at number 1 and 2, I was nervous. Because... Liv and Rhea were my top two picks to win. I knew, I, I think they would, but they put them at the um, start. And I, I was nervous because I thought they were going to make Becky Lynch win, which luckily she didn't. Because I, don't get me wrong, I like Becky, but I don't want her to win another Royal Rumble. So Rhea and uh, Liv Morgan were lasted all the way to the end until they were the final two, which was cool. And uh, 
uh, Rhea Ripley got uh, obviously got the win here, which was cool for her and a great moment for her. And um, I wouldn't have been mad at Liv Morgan winning either. Uh, it was just a solid women's Royal Rumble match. It had a lot more sub yeah. surprises than the men's Royal Rumble. And I saw a lot of people were getting mad and fitty about Nia Jax returning, which I still thought, I still thought the return was cool, um, even though everybody's mad about her controversial tweets or whatever, like, we, you guys can boo her for that or whatever, but come on, it's still a return, you know, so, um, that is the good, oh, wait, also another good part, um, Roman Reigns and Kevin Owens was the main event. WWE Universe Undisputed Universal title match. I thought the match was decent. I didn't. I thought it was a decent enough effort. I don't think it was one of Roman's best title defenses, but it was still decent. And Kevin Owens getting slammed onto the steel steps head first twice. Man, he's a champion for taking that. But the only the better part of the match was at the end. Where Sammy Uso turned on Roman Reigns. And Sammy is now probably the biggest babyface in the company. Trying because he didn't want to hurt Kevin Owens. So that was a cool moment right there. Um, And they're going to set up Sammy Zayn versus Roman Reigns at Elimination Chamber, I think they said. Or if not, they could book it at WrestleMania, which that would be cool if they did that. Um, So overall, yeah, that... that the ending was perfect. And Jay Uso giving a little tease that he doesn't want to be a part of all that bloodline, which we all know probably what's going to happen over the next few months. He's going like, ah, oh, I, you turned on Sammy or whatever. And now he, and then that, uh, and before WrestleMania, he's going to turn bad again and stay with the bloodline. And then Uso's versus Sammy and Kevin for the tag titles at Mania. So yeah. Yeah, still a pretty decent story there. Now let's move on to the mixed. The mixed is the pitch black match. I thought the overall, um, what's the word? The overall lighting was cool. Like, I thought the lighting was very cool, especially what they did with Bray Wyatt, where he had the face paint and stuff, and he was glowing, and he had, like, the red eye tablets and stuff. That was cool. And also, LA Knight's gear was glowing, too, which was pretty cool. But the thing with this is, they've been hyping this match up for, I don't know, a few weeks now. And I have not gotten... I've gotten so many of the pitch Mountain Dew bitch. Sorry. Pitch black. I, I said, I meant to say, I, pitch black. Pitch black. I might have to edit that one. Pitch black, Mountain Dew pitch black match. Um, uh, sorry guys. Uh, Mountain Dew pitch black match. Uh, the, It didn't live up to the hype because they were hyping up this up like it was going to be super really, really cool match type. And it only lasted like about five minutes and they made it all oh, night look weak. But what was cool was at the end after the match finished where the, Bray was chasing LA Knight and then they had that little thing where Uncle Howdy jumped off the top of the whatever it was called, the f forklift maybe. And then... Uh, set the fire ablaze, and then the Firefly Funhouse characters were above Ray. I thought that was kind of cool. But, uh, yeah. The match was disappointing. Now let's move on to the bad. This should have been a, at least a decent matchup from these two. Bianca Belair versus Alexa Bliss Raw Women's title. This was underwhelming. I expected this to be way more better than it was. And it wasn't. Um, Bianca obviously won, but, yeah, it, it wasn't good. But overall, the Royal Rumble pay-per-view was amazing and a great start to 2023 with a pay-per-view. And oh, I know this might be a little bit controversial, but I'm going to go with an A+. Well, not controversial, but 
a little bit too fast because I had one negative. I, I'm going to go with the A+, plus because I thought the pay-per-view was cool. So, yeah. That is my overall thoughts of the Royal Rumble 2023 pay-per-view. Be sure to let me know your thoughts down below in the comments of what you thought of the pay-per-view. Don't forget to subscribe because we're on the road to 50 subscribers and it's absolutely free. Like the video, share the video, ring the bell for all notifications so you don't miss a notification when I upload. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next one, everybody. Pa-pa-pa-pa. Peace.